Good afternoon, guys. I have an eye infection. Ignore my edges, please. So, I have an eye infection. Can you see? Yeah. If you have been here for a while, you know that I've had this before. I wore makeup yesterday, so they are in my edges. I've had this before, and my husband said the funniest thing yesterday. He said, Oh, baby, I think um, it's the lashes that you wear that, that is causing this uh, viral infection or eye infection. I'm like, hello, let's be coming down. Number one, I've not had this thing in like almost one year. And number two, I wear lashes like maybe once in three weeks. So tell me how that is the cause of this. And I said, oh, sorry, I didn't know that you're supposed to be having it every two, two weeks before you can know that it's a occurrence. <laughs> what is it? And my husband went to work this morning, you guys. Ah! And this is what I've been dealing with this morning. Me by myself with Juba. Now nah, I don't always look forward to that. I do not. <laughs> yeah, he went into work for the first time in a very long time today. And oh my god, I felt so sad this morning. We've been saying it like all week. Like we knew this day was coming, obviously. We've been saying it like all week and oh, yesterday I was like, Oh, are you excited? He said yes, he's excited. My is happy to leave. <laughs> He's having to escape a few hours. Oh, and I don't blame him. I really mm. do not. Let me put you on the camera. I'm paying me with this 12 kg and this phone. Yeah. Yeah, so he said he was happy to leave, but he's been calling us all day. We've been talking like, you know how you call your best friend and you guys don't say anything to each other. You're just on the phone. Just talk. You're just on the phone. Living life <laughs> and life is just continuing. That's what, we've been doing. That's what we've been doing since morning. Yeah, that's what we've that's what we've been doing since morning. Yeah, hopefully it gets back soon. It's just noon. It's twelve o'clock now, and I want to make maybe brunch for this guy. He's had breakfast. He had cereal, so I'll give him. <laughs> I'll give him scrambled eggs and potatoes now and me to find something to eat. My husband's not around. I don't have ginger to eat. So yeah, that's life update. I'm not shooting today. I just want to edit all the videos that I have. Edit videos and pitch to brand. Yeah, this is time to... My brother is calling me. I don't know why. Okay. So this is time to pitch. I've pinned down some brands that I would really like to work with this year. So I want to pitch to them, I want to send them emails, and yeah. Yeah, and uh, what else should I do? Edit my videos, edit videos. I don't know, this guy. Wow, he successfully opened it. Now that he knows he can open it, he'll try it all the time now. Yeah, I think I'll just talk to you guys later. Let me make this guy food. Oh, I'm on Jenny. I 
Chuba is eating now, so peace has returned to the world. He's having scrambled eggs and um, boiled potato and some watermelon. And he's going to, it takes his time to eat. It, <laughs> it's like a king. I love it for him. So I've made myself something as well. I'm having um, fried rice from yesterday. Guys, can you see my eyes are really red? No, my eye, just this one. It's really red. So let me show you. Having um, fried rice from yesterday. This um, purple cooking bar. Are they cooking? No, purple cabbage and a slice of turkey. Just a tiny piece of turkey. Yeah, so I have done that now. Are you enjoying your meal? Hmm? Are you enjoying your meal? <laughs> Smiling. Alright, <laughs> guys. making vegetables i always want to stop at this juncture at this point because oh this is just a nice sauce for rice yes. oh yes this is a nice sauce for rice <laughs> let me know let me know nice let's get out <laughs> go 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 ah baby I literally did like a happy dance when I heard the knock on the door when my husband got back. Like I was so happy. <laughs> I didn't know that I was going to miss him that much, but I did. I did. And they got me eye drop. I'm going to put it in my eye later. In fact, now, before it starts to ache me again, I thought it was cancer. Yeah, it's 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 cancer. Yeah, Oh, this plain plain noise. So yeah, I'll put the eye drop now. I'm making a foray roll with Oguan. Utazi. Is it that Utazi or Ziza? I don't know. Anyway, let me show you. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Use your words. Are you hungry? <laughs> Do you want to eat? Do you want food? What? 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 You're hungry? Mm? Hungry? You're hungry? Okay. Yeah, we'll get you food. Okay? You see? That was easy. Guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm so red. <laughs> so you can tell that it's shoot day for me. I'm shooting content today, but I want to close out this vlog. Okay, stay like this. Also, you guys can already tell that I'm tired of these braids. You will know because I've just been packing it like this. I've not been doing any other style with it. I'm so tired and out of it. And my only problem right now is how do I take it out? Because it's just a lot. It is a lot. I'm just like, okay, so when do I start? When do I finish? And yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> but hopefully, it's almost end of January. So I'll take it out. Hopefully before, okay, maybe first week in Feb, I'll take it out. Yeah, how are you guys doing? So it's been two weeks since my husband had started going to work, like working from the office. And it's just been a very hectic two weeks and you know i was having a conversation with an older mom yesterday because i was telling her that every time like juba just it's just a lot for me when you know my husband is out and when my husband gets back it's just it, it goes back to normal <laughs> like life goes on like nothing happened right was well, some days ago you know he was crying so much that my husband even came back i didn't even know he was back and he knocked on the door i opened the door and immediately she saw him, he just stopped crying. I'm like, but you were just crying. So now you're making me look like a liar when I say, oh, Chuba has been stressing me all day. Like I've not been able to do anything. It's been a lot for me, blah, blah, blah. But my husband, I said, he actually heard him crying from downstairs. I said, thank you. Thank God you heard him. Like that is him all day. That has been him 
all day long right so i was having this conversation with the older mom yesterday and she was like yeah that is just adjusting that i have to give him time you know all his life <laughs> for the past 12 months he's been seeing my husband and i every day all day right all through the day now he's just seeing one person so it's like what is going on so it's also trying to adjust that i should give it time and he will get used to it right so it really made sense like it really made sense it was then i knew that okay i'm actually not a bad mom because i'm not a bad mom i take care of you <laughs> my husband even blames me for his clinginess because it's like it's because i cannot stand him cry anytime he cries i just carry him because i don't want him to cry right so my husband is blaming me that it's because i don't want i i don't let him to be independent that is why it's clinging to me when it's not around <sighs> i'm like thank god i'm not a bad mom it's just trying to adjust so it really made sense yeah anyway another thing i'd like to say is uh you know this um news of um this lady that was trending on twitter this lady that works wakes up by 4 30. <laughs> I wake up at 4.30 every morning to make food for our husband and a lot of people were really welcoming to her like a lot of people were nice to her she even got a lot of money she got you know things from brands and everything which was really good but you know twitter feminists they really came for her and they came for her heart even a lot of youtubers have done various videos condemning the act you know uh poverty shaming <laughs> Poverty shaming the husband and you know, it was it's just been a lot, right? This week I said I made a post on Instagram that when you keep comparing your life to other people To other people's lives, especially the people you see on social media You'll really be blind to what God is doing in your own life, right? And see when it comes to marriage relationship, there is no template The scripture is your template and however you see it fit to submit, however you see it fit to love, right? is what you should do for your own marriage if waking up by 4 30 is convenient for you by all means me i'm sure that my husband would never expect me to do that because i'm not a morning person me that i'm just sleeping by three o'clock i'll not wake up by four <laughs> or 4 30 to you know make breakfast uh, to make breakfast no he won't, he won't expect me to do that and that's the way he's loving me right but when he comes back and have an elaborate dinner or elaborate lunch waiting for him that's my act of submission and love to him as well right so please just ignore the noise if you can wake up by 4 30 to make food for your husband especially if you know maybe you're a housewife or um, your husband is the sole provider the only thing that you're expected to do is to take care of the house or to take care of the home by all means, it doesn't even have to be 4.30, it can be 5 o'clock, it can be 6 o'clock, depending on, you know, your husband's schedule and when he has to leave the house. One time in these two weeks, I made, I packed lunch for my husband. I didn't even, I didn't even wake up, it was a leftover fried rice. <laughs> it was leftover fried rice from the previous day and, you know, I, I packed it because he didn't leave early that day. He left like around 8.30, right? So I'd woken up, it was still around, so I thought, oh, let me pack your lunch. I packed him fried rice and turkey. You know, I told him when he gets to the office, he puts it in the fridge and when he's ready to eat it, he microwaves it. Tell me who brought back the lunch for me. He brought it back. He did not even eat it. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was when he got back there, now she warmed it and ate it. And I said, this is the best I'll be packing lunch for every day. I beg. <laughs> I beg, I beg. You know, so do whatever works for you to each their own right there is no template for marriage if it is good okay if you see a marriage that you really admire take one thing that you feel like oh you really admire and it's working for them take it out of that marriage and implement it in yours if it works fine if it doesn't cancel it you know just like like that like that like that but don't say oh this is what uh being a feminist mean i cannot be waking up uh, by four o'clock to cook for my family i cannot <laughs> and you know it's, it's very tricky no it's not tricky it's just stupid because if you have a child you wake up at any time of the night to cater to that child juba will not start crying by three o'clock i'll be like oh no i'm a feminist to me i cannot be waking up by three o'clock to cater to a child isn't isn't on my family is my husband not my family so why can't i cater to my husband the way i'll cater to my child it should even cater to your partner much more than you cater to your child okay you can you give them attention like the little ones you give them attention more because you know they can they depend on you for almost everything but it's your husband first if you want to look at it in the grand scheme of things 
your husband, your wife first before these children because these children they will leave you. <laughs> so guys, yeah, that's my TED talk. Just do what works for you, okay? And ignore this noise. Ignore the noise. Social media can be very toxic. Me, I'm not even on Twitter. I I don't have the strength and energy <laughs> for Twitter. I've tried so many times. I'm like, I beg, I beg, I beg. Moving on quickly, right? So yeah, just do what works for you. Don't copy, don't copy and paste, right? Don't copy and paste. It will hurt you to hurt your loved ones as well. Okay. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share with somebody and uh, subscribe if you have not. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about all of these topics, right? Till next time I come your way, I hope that you do well and God bless you. Bye guys.